the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour, and we are ready to turn them loose. The young Austin Beers in the 64 will get them going here tonight, and we are underway in the Jersey Shore 150 at Wall Stadium. They out for the opening lap. I'll pick it up when they come around. Austin Beers leads lap one. He's able to clear Matt Hurtman and Jimmy Blewett, who run second and third behind him. Battles a bit deeper in the field. Eric Goodale trying to find room down to the inside of Doug Kobe in the 70 or Goodale in the 58 was the fastest car in final practice earlier today. And Goodale on the move early here to the bottom as they work the inside lane. The fast way around this racetrack is all the way at the bottom. And that's where successful drivers like Jimmy Blewett and others have been able to make it work. Austin Beers on the bottom, Matt Hirschman to the outside lane as we get set to turn him loose for one more time. An even start this time by, but Austin Beers able to clear Matt Hirschman, and that puts Justin Von Stewart out the inside lane. Pokes the nose of that 51 out in front and takes over the runner-up spot in turn three. Von Stewart is second. Matt Hirschman back to third. And now Kobe trying to cut underneath off turn two. Can't do it. But on the outside lane behind them, Rod Silk, who started 11, has just gotten by Eric Goodale, and that's going to be good enough to move inside the top five for the first time tonight. Through the field. The Silk starting to walk up a little bit higher. Here comes Kobe, working down to the inside of Matt Hirschman in the battle for third, and Hirschman goes around in turn three. Third caution of the night and it happened between Doug Kobe and Matt Hirschman racing for the third spot, 54 laps in, and Matt Hirschman gets spun in the middle of turns three and four. No contact to another car of the wall after he was spinning. And Bonsignor able to stay even this time with Austin Beers as they head for turn two. Good launch off turn two, and Justin Bonsignor for the first time today is able to bypass the 64 of Austin Beers, and we've got a new leader. Look who's coming right along with him. The outside lane tonight for Ronnie Silk has been working well. Picking up a few spots on every restart and putting himself in position. Silk up to third in the 16 car, that silver machine. And Justin Bontenure showing the way. One slip up and Bontenure can go from first outside the top five and there is Austin Beers. They rub Nerf bars off turn four to the inside lane. Beers going for the race lead. Drives Bonsignor up the hill through turns one and two. And Austin Beers back out in front. Ronnie Silk and Justin Bonsignor now out in the Sparks fly. You go back to the Riverhead race, the first one. And those two went at it. Silk and Bonsignor and Silk just shoved Bonsignor up the racetrack with an opportunity to challenge for the race lead. Green flag is back out at Wall Stadium, and they are toe-to-toe -to -toe into turn one. Here's Ronnie Silk, shoves Beers up the racetrack to take the race lead. Now Kobe slides into second. He'll look to do the same as Beers now stuck in the outside lane, 91 laps in. Silk to the lead. Kobe, Bonsignor through. Andrew Krause now trying to go to the inside lane. Beers pushing down, trying to pinch off the inside lane, but Andrew Krause is too strong, draws even off turn two. Beers slightly ahead through turns three and four. Now able to clear Andrew Krause and goes from first to fourth on that exchange by choosing the outside lane of the restart and Ronnie Silk just so good to the bottom. And these two, Opening up a healthy advantage over a, a second now advantage back to the third place machine as Kobe again works the inside lane in turns three and four. Slight contact, they come together on the straightaway. Kobe all the way to the bottom and he'll lose 10 car lengths. Now that battle for the lead is on. Doug Kobe clearly has a quick race car because not too long ago, he was about 10 car lengths behind Ronnie Silk, and he has closed that down to one. 
And for the first time tonight, lap traffic becomes a factor. Tommy Wanick in the nine down to the inside. Silk and Kobe, first and second. Outside lane, Anthony Nosella in the path of the race leader. Kobe makes contact. He goes around in turn three. Fifth caution of the night, and this time, turn three, it's Doug Kobe who spins. He grabs a gear quickly to rejoin the field. 41 laps to go, and while racing a lapped automobile with the race leader, Ronnie Silk, Doug Kobe brings out the caution. What a sequence of events. We're going to get another look at it. Here is Kobe racing up forward. And he is not happy at all with the 46 of Anthony Nocella. Here's what happens. Silk gives Nocella the chrome horn. Nocella cuts down to the inside, getting into turn three. Ken and Bontenu are able to keep pace as they head for one. To the inside lane, Justin Bontenu. Wheel to wheel for the race lead. Outside lane, it's Ronnie Silk. Off turn four, Justin Bonsignor, the new leader. Silk not ready to give it up yet, though. Sails it deep, off turn number two. Inside of 20 laps to go. And Justin Bonsignor takes sole possession of the race lead. Off turn two. Trouble, the 64 car of Austin Beers goes around and multiple cars involved. The 58, Eric Goodale, the three, Jake Johnson. They both got damage in the incident. Beers spinning. Two series champions, two local track drivers right behind them and Andrew Krause and Eddie McCarthy. Green flag flies again here at Wall Stadium. As the field rumbles off into turn one, Bonsignor gives the elbow to Ronnie Silk, shoves him up the racetrack. Silk, though, stays to the outside lane, draws even through turns three and four. Wheel to wheel for the race lead, single file behind them. Bonsignor to the top spot. Caution. Eighth caution of the night. And it is for Thomas Martino, who is spun. Ron Silk up top. They turn him loose. Green flag is out. Silk and Bonsignor, a bit of contact on the start. Five to go. Bonsignor able to get clear. Silk is here. He gives him the bumper. Shoves him up the racetrack. Here comes Ronnie Silk down to the inside lane. Contact for third behind. McCarthy up to third, the crossover move this time. Bontenor looks to the bottom lane. He won't hold anything back. These two have created a rivalry this season. Across the line they come, three to go. Silk wavers a bit in turn two, but Bontenor is not able to capitalize on it. They come together in turn four, the Chrome Horn with two to go. Ron Silk, a one car length advantage back to the 51 of Justin Bonsignor. This time off turn four, he'll see the white flag as Bonsignor close enough to challenge. Final time around is Ronnie Silk in command off turn two. For the third time this season, Ronnie Silk has won on the Wheel and Modified Tour and he's won the Jersey Shore 150.